Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where it's always prolific, consistent, and dedicated. The Royal Rumble Fallout. Now, I've already talked about my Royal Rumble review and results. You can go check out that video previous to this one. You can also check out uh, my view of Roman Reigns being the 2015 Royal Rumble winner. Now, there's a lot of sour grapes. There's a lot of negativity. This channel was flooded and floored with messages and comments for Roman Reigns against Roman Reigns and well in between they don't know which way to go they don't know which way to slide here's the bottom line did the WWE come through tonight no they didn't it was a one match event it was the triple threat match if it weren't for that match I would have been mad I would have been frustrated I would have asked for my $50 back had I not paid for this on the WWE Network for $9.99 now listen the Roman Empire is not strong. The WWE has a ton of work. They have a hell of a lot on their plate going into WrestleMania if they want the fans to get behind Roman Reigns. Because like I said, I'm a fan of Roman Reigns. I stand up for Roman Reigns. I see what the WWE is trying to do. You say, the fans say they want someone different. They want someone fresh. They want someone unique. They want someone young. They want someone strong. They're sick and tired of John Cena. They want a new guy in that role. Well, here's your guy, Roman Reigns, but you don't like it. You know, here's the thing. You can't always get what you want. The fans were able to dictate it last year, but this year, it's a whole different set of circumstances. The WWE had Daniel Bryan eliminated way too early. I'll admit that. Everyone's saying Curtis Axel was never officially in the match. Curtis Axel should have his rightful chance, and I say you're right on that. But at the end of the day, there's all these threats. There's all this negativity. There's all this hate. There's all this heat on Roman Reigns for winning the Royal Rumble. The bottom line is Roman Reigns is going to WrestleMania. But that doesn't mean that the WWE is going to do the things right. The WWE has to do a hell of a lot. They have to right a lot of wrongs in this situation. And I'm not saying that Roman Reigns winning the Royal Rumble was the wrong thing to do. The WWE went about things the way they saw fit. Many people think it was a mistake. But believe me, in my mind, the WWE is going to have to turn a lot of heads. The WWE is going to have to go in another direction with Roman Reigns. I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know why. But the WWE cannot go down that road. Now, this was a Philadelphia. This was Philadelphia. This is a crowd that is rowdy. This is a crowd that will let you have it. In other cities and other towns, they might not. Roman Reigns may not get this. Uh, interaction. He may not get this distraction. He may not get the kind of negativity that he got tonight in Philadelphia because we know Philadelphia is a hot, rushes crowd and they will let you know it. But Roman Reigns has a lot of work to go to do. The WWE has a lot of work to do and they all have to come together. This all has to work out and I don't know if it's going to work out. I'm giving Roman Reigns a chance. I'm one of those guys that's going to give this guy a chance. And I know early on it doesn't look good, but Roman Reigns still has time to improve and impress. He's still young, he's still strong, and he can still show that he can stand the test of time. But the WWE has a hell of a lot to prove from now to WrestleMania.